Yeah, it's your boy Gruff here, back with another video, and today, I got special video guys, man, today we're back with Tournament Power Season 85, bro, my goodness, best teams guys, and once again, I'm going to show you guys some of the best teams in uh for, for Tournament Power based off the S tier and the Z tier uh, boost. And also, I've gotten a, a comment, I think last season, they were saying, like, um, you know, have you checked as these videos? And I haven't. I actually haven't been tuned in as the videos. But I've been noticing his best team videos has been for 30 minutes to 40 minutes long. And he's been doing a lot more teams. So then I was like, damn, I got to lock in. I got to start doing a little bit more teams. So I usually do three to four teams. But this time, I'm adding a lot more teams. So this video might be a little bit longer. But I'm going to try to add in more teams and, and start being more creative with these type of setups and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy these type of longer best team videos. I'm going to try to crank out more teams. Shout out to Ads. They will always make me better. And let's get straight into the videos. One more thing I want to talk about before I <laughs> straight into the video. And I'm going to be ranting. You guys have the timestamps. You guys have the timestamps so you guys can skip ahead. With Tournament Power, try to get your team high stars as possible. Um, Z power your team helps a ton invest into your team, please Getting Z power trying to get them the 14 stars as, as as quickly as possible Get them the friendship level 10 it helps with stats and increase stats playing the friendship battle the let's fight stage increases their Friendship and their stats for tournament power getting tournament power equipments Zenkai 7 uh, their, Your Zenkai units um, Like I said getting equipment Arts boosting your 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 characters as well helps with stats as well. Soul boosting, anything that helps with stats, you do it because it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference having a 14 star character than having a 14 star friendship level 10, top equips, and then arts boost. It's a it's a whole different it's two different types of characters. Trust me, trust me. Just please invest into your team, and the rewards will 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 pay dividend. It'll pay amazingly. It's like one of the best investments you can do in Dragon Ball Legends. It's better than maining a PvP team. Because you're not going to get power creep. So yeah. Just had to rant right there. Let's get straight into the, the first team I'm always going to talk about. is going to be Regen. Because Regen is my main team. And let's get straight to it. So Regen is actually looking pretty good. I guess with the characters that I'm, I'm rocking. Um, I have the Yellow Piccolo in Z tier. I always rock the Yellow Piccolo. I know a lot of you guys don't like the yellow piccolo, so I'm gonna show you guys some replacements with yellow piccolo. But since Piccolo Z tier, that's amazing. I rock him all the time. I think he's the best character out of the out of these units here. Some people might like the purple cell more, but I like yellow piccolo. Just the amount of healing he gives for the team is super valuable. So next after that, we got um, S tier. Now we got um, Piccolo Junior PJ. We got him in S tier, so we already have two characters. We have a Z tier and an S tier. We're straight. We're gonna probably get a hundred mil this season just because of these two characters um, they're my main two characters on my team I don't take them out so that's really good there now for regen C tier we're always rocking super baby too just an amazing character uh, we got one C tier he the amount of healing he does for the team is he's irreplaceable for regen then we have fat boo as well he's irreplaceable so fat boo and, and super baby too those are the two characters I'm always going to keep so there's no replacements for them Super Baby 2 and Fat Boo. So, I'm keeping those two. Then after that, I go to the A tier. And, you know, for my A tier character, I'm rocking Omega Shenron. He's the best Blast Blue character. Now, we do have some other characters in there. We do have Raid Shenron. And we do have the Omega Shenron. So, if you guys are looking for a green and a yellow, you guys can use them now. I believe they might be here for maybe this season. And they're probably going to get dropped down to, like, B tier and C tier characters. But I'm going to show you guys some other Things, some other characters so uh, another a tier character free to play DKP he's a free to play character I've been rocking him he's been absolutely amazing I love that I switched into him love him we also got purple boo purple free to play boo he's also another free to play character works amazingly um, yellow I love piccolo I like him because he's a blast based character high stats transforming Zenkai character you can't teach that in, in T.O.P. So those are the characters I'm rocking. If you want a uh, replacement for Green Free to Play DKP, I like this first form cell a lot. I also like Omega LF Omega Sunron is amazing. They're both all in the same tier, so you can kind of switch whatever. In terms of Yellow Piccolo, Ray Sunron is actually really good. 
Uh, you guys see the amount of support he gives to the team, I believe, and he heals himself after receiving blast cards, which is not bad as well. And yeah, you have Rage Shenron there. Then also, I like this uh, first form Sparking Zell. He's actually really good as well. I think every time he lands in a, an attack, it's either if he gets hit or he lands an attack, he heals by 1%, I think by multi-targets. So that's also pretty good as well. And then you have this first form cell, the EX one. This He's also a really nice yellow character. Um, if you want to go for a little deep dive, you can do Zenkai DKP as well because he heals and lands strike cards. And he also Zenkai's yellow regen characters. Only problem is he's strike based. Um, you also got yellow cell like yellow is really amazing for regen in terms of red going to the red side uh, let me take a look here we do have red transforming cell here he's strike based but he's he's good enough he's good enough so i do like him as a as a replacement if you don't have pj um zenkai cooler is really good really good you guys seen him use him a few times and he he, he goes crazy and you also have uh we also have buhan here really great blast based red character in terms of the blue uh, slug, I think blue, you can kind of go down to uh, slug, lower slug. And if not, then you guys can go to Zenkai Boo Tanks. And then if you want to grab another C tier character, you guys can. I recommend getting Zenkai, um, Zenkai LF Kid Boo as the blue. Green, purple, yellow. Uh, purple is probably one of the weakest colors. If you don't have Super Boo, I recommend free to play Red Ribbon Army Piccolo. And if not him, then Purple 21. So that's pretty much it with the region squad. Next, we're going to go with Android's Blast Base. Um, I will recommend rocking Android's Blast Base if you do have this character here. So this character is in C tier. Let's take this team out. Uh, we're going to put Red Jr. Because uh, if you have this guy, if you have him at 7 minimum, I recommend 9 stars. But if you have him 7 stars minimum, he's going to be really good, bro. You look at his stats. He heals at the end of third at the end of the third turn which is nice and he ramps up his blast damage that's really that's really valuable he's probably the, he's the best android ex in this setup here out of the out of the nine characters there then here after that um the next blast based character i like to rock will be the free to play 18 so you have a z tier you have a s tier character there i'm going more of a blast based region i mean i reach an androids if you want to replace them you could just add in red transforming cell and then this ex zenkai 17 here you could definitely do that I'm going to try to build more of a blast based androids. So I'm putting these two there. Then after that, let's go to the C tier. We do like adding in um, blue 17 here. Put him uh, there. Put him here. Put her there. So we're going to put blue 17 there. He's really amazing. We already have two reds, so we don't need to add in another, any of these other red characters. So we're going to leave them for now. Let's go back to the S tier. Let's actually go back to A tier. And actually, let's go to the B tier because the B tier is a character that I really like. Uh, I really do like this um, Android 18 here. She gives support to um, Androids, event exclusives, and Majibu Saga. She heals her allies and range by 1%. That helps. And she's a really powerful yellow. She's free to play as well. You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to add her in there. Then let's go to the A tier spot. There's a few characters in there that I want. I actually do like this green Gamma one. Blast based character really does. Um, it really does great things for the team. If you don't have Gamma One High Stars, first for himself. I'm gonna go with uh, with with her. I mean with him. Um, and in terms of the yellow, if you don't have free to play, you have this free to play cell. You have this cell as well. You also have this cell as well in terms of the yellow. So if you want to add in a double yellow squad, you can. Um, doing this, this is really nice. Zenkai buff in the 18. You have the green there. So next, we kind of just need a strong purple. And you can go down to C tier. You can go down and get the purple, either the purple 17 or the LF cell. You guys can rock two C tier characters. It'd be pretty, pretty fine. If you want to grab a better purple that, that's part of, that's not in the C tier area, you can go with purple 21 as well. Um, she gives HP for the team. You have two characters that give HP. First for himself, he uses them, and then the purple 21. But um, I'm going to just go back here, just grab him. And then we just need a pretty, next color we'll probably need just to end this off will be a pretty good, we got a red, yellow, blue, purple, green, and then it kind of just depends on what other colors you kind of want on the setup. You could get another green, you could go for another blue. Uh, I really do recommend if you don't have blue 17 to don't rock the blast base variant of Android. I think he's really core because there's really that many blue blast base androids 
um, right now. So I think he's really core for the setup. Uh, kind of like the Super Baby 2, 17 is really core. Now the last color I will rock it's actually pretty interesting. I actually don't know. You could go for, you could do something like this where you have her in there. And then if you want a, I'm trying to think of like what would be the worst color. Probably a, another green. So if you want to add in like a first form cell as the, as the green there, as the backup green. Or you can add in magenta. Or you can even have in uh, 21 here. Also not bad. Now, in terms of the red, if you don't have those characters, like I said, red transforming cell. You have this EXL. You also have Super 13. He's more strike based, but if you want to rock another red, you can. I try to build this more of a blast based setup. In terms of the blue, I think he's irreplaceable. I don't think there's any other blue replacements for blast based androids. Greens, I kind of showed you guys some greens. Yellow, you have this guy. You have this guy. And then if not, you have the Zenkai's. You got the Zenkai cell that goes crazy. Red already showed you guys, green already showed you guys, purple already showed you guys, and then yellow already showed you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much what Androids. Let's hop into the next team. Next team we're going to do is Majin Buu Saga. Now we're going to do Majin Buu Saga, but we're going to do the Blast Base variant. I think the Blast Base variant is a little bit better in terms of just the characters they have in the S tier and the Z tier spot. So let's go here. I don't think they have anybody good in the Z tier spot that kind of catches my eye. So let's go to the S tier spot. And if you want to rock the two S tier characters, it'll be Evil Boo EX and then Purple Free to Play. Um, Free to Play Buhan. Those probably be the best characters from the S and Z tier spot, in my opinion, for the Majin Buu Saga. Now, we're going for this setup. We have three C tier characters. So let me actually build this team out first and, and dictate which characters I actually kind of want on here. So we're going to go here. Me personally, I really do like uh, having this. Um, I really do like having the, the blue TN. If you do have the blue TN, I recommend adding having him on the setup. Uh, like I said, we're building a blast based setup. So next we'll have Red Buhan in here on our setup. So we have two, we have what, two A tiers. And then next we'll have Purple Free to Play Boo because he has to give support buffs for uh, Majin Buu Saga. Allies in range, you see like the key recovery and the damage inflicted buffs, I believe. Yes, no, is it here? Yeah, I think it's down there. Yeah. According to the allied, yeah. They get extra damage and key recovery, which is pretty nice for the setup. Then after that, bro, we're gonna go to B tier. We're gonna put in a green fat boo. Um, he heals the team. You can't go wrong with healing, so I really do like that. Um, and then in terms of a carry-on unit, we actually do need a yellow. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now we can go multiple routes with this. You can go multiple routes. We can add in either blue kid boo we already have two blues if you guys don't have tn you guys could probably rock kid boo um green we already have we only have one green but we already have two purple two blues um this is interesting so if you guys if you guys don't really care too much about having a yellow and you just rather have like multiple greens or multiple blues or multiple purples depending on what characters you're kind of missing here I do recommend trying to see try to add these characters here. Now for my setup, do I believe that um I probably will rock Kid Boo and I'll probably rock Let me take a look at this kid. Cause this green evil boo is actually really good as well. But then you also have the Gohan. He's kinda like the person that can kind of just carry your setup, your team. So if you depending on if you want someone that does a little bit more damage uh, on the purple side, if you don't believe that Buhan can really do it for you, understandable. So then you could probably take him out. Maybe you want to add in another green that gets Zenkai buff. But let's see, we already have three C tier characters, so I'm not the, really the biggest fan. So let me see if I can find another green for you guys. If you guys don't want to have um, Evil Boo having three C tier characters. I recommend adding in um, Pui Pui. Now the reason why is Pui Pui actually gives HP for Majin Buu Saga. He also gives support buffs to characters that's Majin Buu Saga in range. You guys see there, 20 damage inflicted for Majin Buu Saga or event exclusive, so that's really nice. And I believe he actually does more damage, more damage when there's less characters, uh, enemies. And then if he does have low health, he does activate some things and that's give him 100% special move gauge. So. 
I'll probably say a Maz Boo setup like this. It kind of just depends on do you have TN or Kid Boo. You can rock Boo Tanks as a nice replacement. If you do want to add in a yellow character, if you're like, all right, I need a full color wheel rough. I need it. I really want a full color wheel. The best person will probably be the Zenkai Goku here, the yellow one, in terms of blast base. Oh, I'm tripping out. Like, what am I doing, bro? What am I doing? All right, let me take... I totally forgot about this girl. Let's take... Who, who would I want to take out, actually? You could replace Pui Pui and add her and add your yellow. I was looking for 18. There she is. You could switch in Pui Pui and add her in. Um, if you don't have TN, then you could probably go with Boot Tanks. Or you could probably go Pui Pui. So you could probably do a double green setup like this. Right? Double blues, double purples. It kind of just depends on what you have. Now, in terms of the red spot, if you don't have Boo Han, this red Goku would probably be his best replacement in terms of the red Majin Buu Saga. Because, um... Shin is C tier. We don't want to add that many C tier characters all in the same setup. I know I'm missing Super Vegito, but I don't have him. He's probably in C tier. So the red is probably iffy. It's probably the iffy spot. If you don't have him, then you can do right red Maja Vegeta. But I kind of want to build this more of a strike uh, blast based Maja Buu Saga team than a strike based one. So a lot of these characters are blast based, if that makes sense. Now, the Z abilities are going to hurt a little bit on this team. Like, Kid Buu doesn't buff Regent. I mean, Maja Buu Saga, Fat Buu doesn't. Everybody else here does. I believe he doesn't as well. He, I think he only does event exclusive in, in purple and blue. So, that like, that's terrible. He does blast in blue and Regent as well. So, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Kind of it depends on who you have as your, your characters here. So... Character like TN is is a irreplace, is replaceable. You can switch him in there if you have him or not. I know that he's pretty rare because a lot of you guys probably didn't summon on his on his banner. Um, you also do have Green Buhan. It just depends on who you pull from the Majibu Saga side of things. So this type of Majibu Saga setup, wanted to talk about that there. Like I said, this is a, I only talk about three teams. It's already 17 minutes. Now, let's talk about Saiyan Saga. Saiyan Saga is really, really neat. You're going to need to have summon for Yamcha and the new yellow, uh, that yellow Goku that dropped right before Annie. If you did not summon for those two, I don't think you guys should rock this team. But if you for, for the people that did main Saiyan Saga, that actually got all the Saiyan Saga characters, good for you. Let's go. C tier. I believe Yamcha is Z tier. The blue Yamcha is Z tier. So if you did, like I said, summon for the Yamcha. He's probably the most valuable Z tier character right now because no one summoned for Saiyan Saga basically, and he has a lot of value. So if you do have Saiyan Saga, the blue one, the new blue one, I pretend this is the blue one. Use him. Then after that, bro, we we'll go to S tier. Um, S tier, another great character will be Blue Nappa. Uh, blue Nappa is strike base. Now this team is going to be balanced. It's going to be strike and blast because they just don't have a lot of diverse Saiyan Saga characters to use. So if you do have Blue Yamcha and Blue Nappa, I would definitely rock them there. I'll probably put Blue Nappa here just to try to build the team out. And then let me just see what characters you guys are going to need next. A tier. Um, I believe the Yellow Goku. I don't know if he's S tier or A tier. But if you do have that Yellow Goku, I believe he's S tier or A tier. I'm going to add this guy as the Yellow Goku because he's yellow. Because um, I, I, I ain't summon for him. So After that, let's go to the B tier. Now, the B tier spot, you definitely want to add in yellow LF Piccolo. And you definitely want to add in the red, uh, the red Nappa, the red 8 Gita. My goodness. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a balanced deck. It's a balanced deck, so it's going to kind of hurt, but it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. So you have two yellows. You have two blues. You have a red. Let's go to the C tier side. I don't know if you guys... Depending on if you guys have Nappa, uh, Nappa Vegeta Revival, he's probably going to be in here. Um, but in terms of a C tier green, probably the best green for the setup is probably going to be Cryon. He's Revival. He heals every time he lands a Blast card. So let's put him in here. And I'm just going to decide who we want to take out. So we have two blues. We have a yellow. We have a red. And then we have a we have two yellows here. So let's put that yellow Goku. You do have the yellow Goku. Put him there. And we need a purple. We need a purple. A tier. I actually do like Yajirobe a little bit more. 
then um, yeah, I like the Yajirobe. I don't know if a lot of you guys are going to have this character high stars, so I'm not going to recommend him because he's um, he's an EX character. So we do have that Yajirobe. We're going to put him. We'll put him here. If you need that purple, I will add him in there. So we have two blues on the setup. We have a yellow. We have a yellow. We have a red. We have a red. And then we kind of just need, need like the, just the best color next. Just the best color. We have two blues. You could add in the green piccolo here. I'll probably say he's probably the best one. That's the most valuable one here. You could add in blue Kyle Ken. You could do that. Or you can add in green piccolo to Zenkai buff the uh, the Cryhan if you want to do that. He gives HP for the setup, which is not bad as well. So I'll probably say the green piccolo is probably the most valuable character if you want to add in the last eight character. Let me uh, freeze that up and a setup like this. But you need the new Yamcha and you need the new Goku. If you don't have eight Jita. Then this guy will be your best bet to replace him. If you guys don't have like uh, Nappa High Stars, or maybe if you want to replace the Yamcha, add in the Blue Goku, but you don't want to add too many C tier characters. Um, in terms of the Yellow Goku, there really isn't no other Yellow, so you have to just pick the best character available, and I'll probably be um, this character here. But then you'll have multiple Blues, so that's why I said. Only Rock Saiyan Saga if you have the yellow Goku or the blue Tien. Alright, next let's go to the next setup. We're going to do DB Saga. I'm going to try to like speed this up, but you guys want more teams, so this is going to be a longer video, man. If you guys like this type of video, longer videos with more teams, and let me know. If you guys don't like it, I'll do. I'll go back to the full three teams and keep it pushing. DB Saga. Uh, DB Saga, you're really going to need launch, and you're really going to need this World Tournament Goku. If you don't have these two characters... Then probably switch to another team, please. Um, let's go to the C tier spot. Now the C tier spot, I'm assuming the path to power Goku will be in the C tier spot. I don't have him as a character, so I don't know. But having this blue, um, having this blue, this blue Boma is really powerful. And I'll put the purple path to power Goku in here as well. After that, let's go to the S tier spot. S tier spot. The two characters that I would like is definitely adding in PJ and adding in blue Boma. You could add in the green Chi Chi. She's also very powerful. It's just that she's strike based. The team is more of a blast based type of setup. So if you want to add her just because she's just a very valuable green, you could replace the World Tournament Goku and add her in there. But um, if you do have the World Tournament, I would recommend to use um, him. So let's go to the S tier spot. It's kind of similar with Boma. If you don't have Boma, but you have Aider, you could rock. You could put Aider in there because he's an S tier blue DB Saga character. He's a strike base. Um, that's just, just that's kind of like his biggest issue. In terms of the green here, you you could definitely add in green DKP if you are wanting another yellow, because the only good yellows is probably what the Roshi, him, and then maybe what that Zenkai Legends Road Kid Goku. So if you don't have Roshi, I recommend DKP being a pretty good yellow backup character, depending on how many DKPs you have on the team, right? If you have the green DKP and red PJ, he has a little bit more value. If you have only one region character, then you know, but he has he's a Zenkai character, he still can get the job done and he's strike based. So to each their own. Last character I'll put in here would be the purple path to power Goku if you want the extra purple. So pretend that's the purple path to power Goku so with this setup here you have a blue you have two blues you have two reds you will have a purple there that'll be a yellow that'll be a green and then your last character who was I was thinking about using green DKP so you can add in green DKP you have a blue purple you could add a yellow DKP there and then add it in green DKP with a setup like this um, the only person I could see being replaced here is if you have blue Aider for one of the Bomas um, you have, who am I thinking about, who am I thinking about, who am I thinking? Chi Chi with one of the greens, and then Roshi for DKP, the Zenkai DKP, the reds, they only really have two good reds, right, yeah, they only have two good reds, for, uh, for what's the name here, yeah, so, really neat shit set up, bro, you kind of need to have someone on the team to really gain the full value, but if you do have the DB Saga team, a setup like this would be pretty good. But kind of go more of the blast based setup than 
than having the strike based characters but if you don't have them then that's what you have to do they don't really have that many characters all right next we're going to go girls girls is really similar to db saga in a sense but um some people might have a little bit better girls team so let's go here i'm gonna keep a uh, blue bowman in here as well let's take them out launch is going to be part of there because she's probably one of the more valuable z tier girls character on the list right put her in there um I'm going to put Green Chi Chi in here if you want to add her in there. I'm trying to go with more of a blast based girls, but if you know, if you just need her for that S tier, Z tier, you can't go wrong with it, right? So, um, and if you don't have urine, I would recommend urine, but if you don't have her at nine stars or higher, then go with the Green Chi Chi. She's older. I know a lot of you guys probably have her at Zenkai and a lot of stars, so she'll probably be urine's best replacement. But if you do have urine at high stars, rock her. Um, I do really recommend Kale because Kale supports the team, gives them the flick the buffs, and she heals the team as well. Try to have her at nine stars minimum. She's an EX character. That's when you really focus on the arch boost and, and, and the friendship level tens. Try to get her stats as high as possible because she's an EX support character. So, but she's really valuable because support and healing. All right. Next after that, we're gonna go with. Um, Yellow 18. Now, Yellow 18 gives support for um, for Androids, event exclusive and stuff, but she's still a really valuable yellow character. I think she's the, the best yellow girls character, so if you do have her, she's really a free-to-play character. You should have her. Um, have her in there. Um, in terms of the red, I do like launch. If you don't have launch, you can always just rock. You can always just rock the tag droids. You can always rock the tag droids. In terms of the A, what other colors were you using? Blue, we already have three blues here, right? Depending on, if you don't have, if you don't have Kale, rock free to play Boma. If you do have Kale at nine stars higher, rock her instead. But let's say you don't have her. Let's take her out. Let's take her out. All right, we'll put her in there, put red. Um, we have a C tier character there. We kind of need a purple character. A pretty good purple character that I like is this free to play uh, Kefla here. I think she's really solid. Blast based purple. I think she does a lot of damage for sure. Um, if you don't have Kale, then the next best purple probably will be purple 21. So that's pretty much it. Uh, there ain't really no other girls. Unless you want to dive on into the C tier and get uh, Bola, but you don't want to have too many C tier characters, right? You don't want to have too, too many C tier characters. So. We have this color, A tier, who do I like? Who would I add? It all, it all varies though, it all just varies. But like adding in like green 18 isn't bad. She gives HP for the girl setup. She heals herself, pretty good value for, and she's a Zenkai 7, right? Um, you have some good, we kind of leave a little bit some more damage dealers on the team, so Say like you don't have urine, then you can add like say you add green Chi Chi. She's more of a little damage dealer. She's strike based, but she does a little bit more damage. Um, blue, she actually. I mean, this this wasn't it does really good. Uh, she's paired up with DB, and especially when she's paired up with DB Saga, she heals herself by two percent. So the fact that we need to have like Chi Chi or Boom or or um, Red launch is because she gets more value when she's paired up with DB Saga. So that's why I try to add in the DB Saga girls. On this team um, green looks good blue red if you want to add in one more C tier character you can probably like do this add them two in there and then pick your poison whenever you want to put like launch and stuff just to get the extra points from her you can do something like this uh, two greens you maybe want to take out like this a little full color one like this something like that um, any other colors I recommend that I think that's kind of iffy. You can never go wrong with adding in um, 18. If you don't have launch, you could put in this free to play 18. She's blast based as well. I already showed you guys the blue option for her, for Kale. Urine, you could take urine out and have like the green 18 or the, or the green Chi Chi there. You could add her in there, but she's strike based. Like I said, you could. I'm trying to go with more of a blast based girl setup. A tier. 
I know a lot of you guys are not going to have this yellow EX-18. She's absolutely cracked. So if you do have her high stars, you could use her instead of this uh, free-to-play Android 18. You can use that EX-18, but she's a she's a free-to-play character. I, I hope that you guys have her. Um, and she was just new. Red, I already showed you guys her. Green, you guys could definitely do Kiawe. She's actually really good. She actually is really good. I don't think she buffed girls, does she? Yes, she does. But she's more strike based support. But if you do need a green, you guys can use her. And then green Zenkai Kefla. Purple is going to be like the, the, the iffiest one. There's really no a lot of girls purple characters. So, All right, we got three more teams, 30 more minutes, bro. All right, let's get straight to it. Let's go Freezer Force. Freezer Force was actually recommended by one of you guys. Shout out to you, bro. Um, you know who you are. A shout out, that shout out that Freezer Force team. Pretty good. I only recommend Freezer Force if you do have that. Um, Gordo and Raccoon tag character and then the Jason Bird tag character. So let's go to Z tier. But there's a character in here. I don't know if Gordo or Raccoon or Z tier. I think they are S. Pretend this is Gordo Raccoon, the tag character, and then pretend this is Jason Bird red and blue. I don't have those characters. I don't. Let's go to S tier. Who was on here that I actually like? It was. It was purple Zenkai Ginyu. I think Gudo is actually Gudo Rakum is S tier. And I think Jason Birder is A tier. So you have two S tier S tier characters already, which is already nice. Um, then after that we go to the A tier spot. Um, if you do want someone that does give some nice healing, uh, Naval. I know he's strike a little bit more on the strike base side if you look at his stats, but he gives healing to Freezer Force. Can't go wrong with that. So I want to add him in here. So we have green, green. We have red, blue. We have purple. Then I like adding in Revival. I actually like, well, where's Revival? Revival Frieza was also a setup because he gives support and he heals the team as well. I believe it's two times. If you take a look at his setup, I think it's on this second one here. Yeah, twice, which is, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Then we have purple, we have red, blue, we have green, yellow, we have green, we have blue. There was another character I'm forgetting, bro. I think it's the, is it this Frieza? I think it's this Frieza. Is it this Frieza? Yes, it's this Frieza. So we have. If you do want to add in another green character in here, you can. You have three green characters. You have a yellow and the Goto Raccoon type of color, color. Free to play, free to play. Okay. We have six characters. We need two more. If you want to add in a carry on character, me personally, I recommend Goku Frieza. If you just want someone that does all the like heavy damage. You can't go wrong with them. Um, and then as your last character, kind of just depends. Like, who do you want to add? You can really add anybody. You can add in. You can add in another C tier character. They'll kind of need a yellow sell up, setup. So if you want to go kind of more on the blast side, and I guess this Frieza, you don't really need this Frieza at all. You really don't. This this last character, you guys can kind of add in whoever. You can add in Purple Freezer if you want a Zenkai buff, go Freezer. Um, give support for the, for the whole team. You already have three greens. Maybe maybe another red. Maybe another red. Not, I mean, pretty solid. Okay. You could always go with, with Purple Captain Ginyu. You just have a lot of purple characters. This last character, you can kind of add in whoever. I think he's more defensive, so I'm not really the biggest fan of him. S tier. And there's really no one that catches my eye here as well. Um, so yeah, this last character, if you want to add in one more C-tier character, add in the character like the yellow golden angel Frieza from the T.O.P. You have two C-tier characters and you'll be, basically be fine. Uh, let me switch in. Do something like this. Yeah. So you have two S-tier characters. If you don't have Gudo and Jace, I think this character here is actually not bad. Does a lot of damage depending on the allies remaining on your team. So he's doing what? 100 damage afflicted? So if you don't have Chase, um, Raccoon, and Gudo, this is actually not a bad green character to replace them with. Uh, Purple EX, again, you, you guys should have him. He has, literally has an event to Zenkai him. That's pretty much it for Frieza Force here, bro. Uh, and then, like I said, Jason Bird, if you guys don't have them, that tag character. 
a character like Map was not bad. It's not bad. Not bad of a replacement of Broly and Chila. So, but this is a lot of this is you're gonna really get a lot if you have if you got the Captain Ginyu characters um, for sure. So, um, and anybody that mains the team, just let me know. All right, we have two more teams, and then we're basically done. Event exclusive is next. Event exclusive is a team that I actually like blow my mind in terms of like just how many characters they actually been dropped. A lot of free to play characters, bro, and I didn't realize how deep the roster is. We're gonna go with more of a blast based setup. Green cooler is pretty good. Uh, I believe every time he lands a blast card, he heals himself by one percent, so it's real similar to green DKP. If we go to the C tier spot, they don't have a lot of C tier free to play characters, which is pretty absurd. And like the best C, char C tier character is Blue Boma. Um, we're going to add in Green DKP there because he gives extra. If she's paired up with a, I think it's either a Goku or a DB Saga character. I don't know if there's any top tier free to play blast based Gokus. Um, so I want to add in Green DKP in here. Now next, um, we do have multiple greens, right? Because I was thinking about adding Pui Pui in here. But we already have two greens. We already have two greens here. Um, in terms of a, like I said, Blast Base, um, we're going to go Kefla here. Kefla is definitely better than Free to Play Buon. Uh, in terms of the red, we do have her. What do I want to cook up next? Next, we need a yellow. Yellow, I recommend that free to play 18. I think she's actually B tier. And uh, if you want an extra, if you want another green, there's multiple greens you guys can rock. This Vegeta is really good. I believe he heals himself every time by 1%, every time he lands a blast card. Um, Pui Pui is really good as well. He actually gets HP for the team, so if you kind of see him a little bit more valuable, then another character like DKP. I think DKP is actually A tier, and you don't really care about Boma getting that extra um, healing. Then you could definitely trade DKP off and add in Pui Pui in there for sure. Um, another good purple character. If you don't like Kefla, you can switch him out with Red Ribbon Piccolo. Maybe this might be a little bit better setup to use just because he gives support for the team. I believe he heals as well. Uh, let me take a look at the S tier spot again. Yeah, especially if you have red 20, red 18, you could definitely do that. You can definitely take out uh, green DKP. You're going to hurt her value a little bit, but that's okay. So you have purple, red, yellow, blue. I would probably say yellow. If we can add in the stronger yellow character like yellow Krillin, or even this yellow first form cell is actually really nice for the team. Or even Yellow Cell. I don't think he heals himself though, does he? Yeah, at the end of each turn, he heals his allies. So, out of the Cell, out of Free to Play, Perfect Cell, or First Form Cell, if you want a double yellow. And then next, what color will probably need it a little bit more? You can go either Free to Play Buhan, you can go with another green with DKP. You can go with another blue. I believe Beerus is B tier. Beerus is actually a really good blue. If you want another blue in there. Green Vegeta, he, he heals, right? Green Tien is also not bad as well. I believe he heals himself every time he lands a blast card. Yellow and Krillin is not bad, but he only heals when he gets hit. He also has the, can't, the Solar Flare thing. So it all kind of depends, bro. It all kind of depends. Purple, you could do that free to play Kefla if you want. But we already have two S tier characters. So who would want to add? Maybe purple. Purple or red? There's no really top tier C tier characters that's in here. Free to play 21. This Goku's not bad, but he's a little bit more outdated. I kind of want a newer free to play character. I don't know how good this Goku Black is. There's a lot of good damage, though. So, could add in him. 
this last character is a wild card. So either him, you can do double greens, you can add in another blue. Um, with Beerus, you can add in this green freezer here. We've seen that he gives support for the setup as well. I believe it's PO, right? He heals, heals PO, event exclusive or freezer force. So if you want someone that does, that does healing for the whole team, you can add him in there. And then you can also add in the blue beers. Blue beers as well. So it kind of depends on what you want to do. Um, and last but not least, we're going to do a future, bro. I actually try to do a deep dive into future to see what I can find. I think I can find a solid future setup for you guys. Not the biggest, not, I'm kind of iffy on it, but let's, let's get straight to it. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of the C tier characters. Um, I don't have like ultra rose or ultra uvb and i think i missed some other future characters but for the characters i do have i'll go with free to play uh the zenkai trunks and then cmz as my two z tier characters i mean my two c tier characters now my s tier characters um i really do like this tag trunks and gohan if you do have a nine stars or higher definitely rock them if you don't have him this guy is actually not bad he has high damage afflicted buffs. He does debuff the enemy too. So he's also not a bad. It's free to play greens and monster here. Um, also you do have this red uh, second form cell. But I don't know if a lot of you guys summon for him. But if you guys do he's also a very valuable S tier character. So pretty much these three characters right here. Are pretty much the main ones that I'm seeing. Added the S tier spot. So... Let's add CMZ there. Let's add him here. We could replace him with this guy too. But I'm going to add him there. I'm tired as hell. Next, we got another blue. Um, I really do like this uh, blue Goku Black. He gives support for the team, which is really nice. Next, I will say is the yellow Zenkai Cell. I think he's probably one of the better yellows. Um, he heals the team. Zenkai character up. Now, what color we're missing? We're missing purple. We're missing purple, right? Yeah, we're missing purple. We do have the cell here. I mean, he has high damage afflicted buffs. I don't want to add too many characters from the Z tier spot. So, if you want to take out CMZ and add in just Trunks and Mai, that will also be a really nice swap. So you can you don't have to use too many C tier characters. And then you can add in like this free to play purple cell. I know he does, he's more blast based, but he gives Z abilities for the strike based side of things. And then the last character, we have two blues, we have a green, we have two reds, we have a yellow. So then we can kind of go here. I like the first form cell. I know he's more blast based. You could go with his green trunks, but he doesn't buff future. He doesn't buff future with his Z ability. Um, in terms of another color, I don't know how good this blue trunks, but we already have multiple blues. So I'm not going to add him in there. I'm trying to think who will be a good last character to end off with. He's not bad, but I don't want to add too many, too many B tier characters, S tier. I guess he does some pretty good damage though. I ain't going to lie, 70 damage. I know a lot of you guys probably ain't summoned for him. He's also not a bad character there. Um, this green. Zamasu is not a bad character there. I don't know how this guy performs. I'm iffy on his damage inflicted. He doesn't have high damage inflicted compared to other characters. But that first strike is going to do a lot of damage. But then after that is just kind of like eh. So you could add him there. The last, the last, the last character is kind of up for grabs and who you kind of want. Um, double defense. You can't go wrong with double defense. Adding another yellow. So, can switch him in there. Two C tiers. Yellow. Something like this. Kind of going more over the strike base. You can go here. So, I'm kind of missing. I'm kind of doing a little bit more research on who a full good eight but this is a setup you have two c tiers you have what three b tiers or two b tiers two b tiers two s two c's you have one a two a's 
So that's basically it there. Um, that's pretty much all the setups that I can think of for this season. Hopefully you guys kind of like these type of videos just a little bit longer. But I'm going to try to add more teams in there. Longer vid. But if you guys want these vids, let me know. I could go back to doing three to four teams. But I, I want to do a little bit more. Shout out to Ad Zeke. Um, I got to step my game up, man. So that's all the setups there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, I was subscribe. I've been rough, man. And I'm out. Peace.